Hey, what's happening guys? Today we're going to put together, or actually we're going to lay out the PCB for this Ultimate Arduino Nano breakout board. And I'm calling it Ultimate because I think I've included just about everything I possibly can here. So if we take a look up here, we have an LDR and it is on analog zero and comes with this resistor so it's it's ready to go that's just our power in we have a system reset we have two potentiometers pot one and pot two they are on a zero and a one we have a uh, uh, an OLED with polarity switching so you can use either the um, ground VCC or VCC ground version whichever one you have we have, uh, what we have six LEDs and they each have enable jumpers so that you can use them or not use them as you see fit we have our analog pins broken out here we have a DHT11 uh, set up here again with an enable pin we have four separate attack switches set up with pull-up resistors and they're going to D2, D3, D4, and D7. Here you just see our Nano with all, everything broken out, all of our nets. Then we have a virtual breadboard section we'll put together. We have a relay, a passive buzzer, an MPN set up as an amplifier on A2. It can also be used as a switch, of course and a rotary encoder. We also have our uh, digital pins broken out as well. So let's see if we can't lay out a pretty cool little uh, PCB and put this all together. Okay, I'm going to start by placing the Nano kind of down here in a corner. And the reason for that is so that we have access to the USB port there. That should be good. And then let's bring in our power. For now we'll just put this over here on another corner and then we'll also bring in our capacitor now what I'm thinking is our switches we can put them it down here along the bottom something like that and our potentiometers also down here at the bottom that way we have all of our controls kind of down there like that and let's move these over here a little closer to the Arduino and then we'll put our rotary encoder over here so that we have all of our controls kind of in one place then our OLED thinking kind of mount that <clears throat> centrally Need something like that we have our reset switch which we're going to put over here by the power that's probably going to get adjusted here pretty soon so we will come back to that All right, where to go next? How about our resistors? We can bring them 
up. Maybe set them over here somewhere, like so. Then we're going to need our LEDs. Alright, so we can bring our LEDs. No, no, something like this. It's probably all going to need a little bit of massaging here in a moment or two. Okay. We've got our relay. Our DHT 11. And we're going to need our polarity switching for the OLED. Then we have our buzzer. Trying to keep all of like our output stuff. Ah. Rats. Just an LED. There's our LDR. Uh, for now, I'm just going to put it over here, kind of like that. Transistor. Just getting a, a, a general idea of where I want things to live. All right, well, I saved you guys about two hours of me moving stuff around. And what you can see here is the final result. We start on the top row with the relay and the OLED and there are the relay controls. Then we also have our polarity switching for the OLED so that we can use whichever of the uh, VCC ground or ground VCC OLEDs are available. Then we move over here and we have all of our resistors in a row. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one K and four 10 K. Then we have our LEDs and each one of those, of course, has its enable pin. So you can use them or not use them as you see fit. Then we have our NPN transistor with an enable pin and then a place where you can tap off of it here. We have our prototyping area here in the center. Think of it like a little mini breadboard. Then we have our pins taken off the Nano here. We have four switches, two potentiometers, a rotary encoder, a DHT, 11 with a uh, enable pin as well reset button and DCN and when we get all done it's gonna look mostly like this I mean there's a couple things missing there's no passive buzzer there's no LDR here and there's no rotor encoder no DCN but yeah that's the way she's gonna look And I think this is going to be exactly what I want. And what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to take these 10 boards that I'm going to order from PCBWay. I'm going to populate them and I'm going to give them to the local high school's STEM program. That way they have 10 uh, nano Arduinos that they can uh, use in class. And really there's no wiring re required. You know, if you want to teach the kids to use LEDs, then they're right here. If you want to teach them to read a sensor and operate a relay, it's right here. You get more advanced kids want to throw some more stuff in, everything is here. Saves a lot of trouble. Saves a lot of parts. These tiny little parts, trust me, will go missing right quick in a school setting. Now that they're permanently on the board, you know, teachers don't have to worry about it. I think that's cool. And of course, this video is sponsored by PCBWay. I use them because they're good. Not just because they sponsor my channel, but the work they turn into me is consistently of excellent quality.
and ordering from them couldn't be any easier. Go here to PCB Instant Quote, do the quick order, uh, add your Gerber file, and here we are, read your Gerber. Sometimes the rendering isn't so good here, but it really doesn't matter. Pick how many boards you want. I want 10. I want a standard thickness, standard spacing, standard hole size. I want black. Silk screen is white. No edge connectors. And in this case, I want gold finish. Then you can just come over here, choose your type of shipping. Get your price, boom, save to the cart. They'll make your boards in a couple days, and you'll have them in about a week. And a week later, the boards are back. I think they're gorgeous. I made them extra thick. There's no real flex in them, so they'll last long for students. I think they'll be great. So, a lot of soldering ahead of me, but I've prepared one for you guys right here, and we can take a look at it. So, we have our Nano down here with the port accessible. We have two potentiometers, and of course, each one has a jumper on it so that it can be enabled or disabled. We have four buttons, and of course, they're each labeled D2, D3, D4, D7. We have our OLED with the polarity adjusting. So if you have the VCC ground or ground VCC, this will work either way. We have a 5-volt relay with the contacts right there. We have our analog pins brought out, our digital pins brought out. We have an LDR. We have a piezo buzzer. Then we have our little breadboard uh, experimenter section there. We have LEDs, each one, of course, with a jumper. The same for our uh, NPN transistor. And you can tap off the transistor here. Have all our resistors here. Uh-oh. I forgot to put in my uh, uh, bu -bu 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 <laughs> capacitor there. And I don't have any rotary encoders at the time. There's a DHT11. So, there she is. Alright, well, it's all put together, and I need to get this video out. So, I'm going to have to do the testing off screen, and I'll do the rest of these boards here over the 4th of July weekend. I hope you guys have a lovely weekend, and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Um, these boards are not going to be available to download for free. They, uh, after they're thoroughly tested, they will be for sale for a very affordable price. All right, that's it. I'm out. Peace.